tale as old as time. Meh, 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 meh. Beauty and the Beast. Hello everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. And as you probably guessed, I'm making a Beauty and the Beast inspired soap today. Like I haven't been putting this off for forever. Ever since the new rendition of Beauty and the Beast came out, I was like, hey day, you have got to make a soap inspired by this. And I knew it was going to be something that I was just going to put off because for some reason, even though soap leaves are really easy to pipe, I always put off projects that I have to pipe them on. <laughs> but I have a feeling all of you guys are really going to like this and I really wanna do more Disney inspired soapies in the future. I have always enjoyed Disney. Insert basic millennial girl quote here, I guess. But come on, it's like we grew up on these things. I never got it completely out of my system and I'm totally blaming my mom because she never took me to Disney World or Disneyland. And so because of that, there's a part of my childhood I just cling on to desperately and I won't let go, not until I get to go to Disney World or Disneyland one day. But enough about me. Here's some more about me. If you aren't following me on Instagram, I have two. I have one for royalty soaps and one for personal life, including stuff about my baby and stuff about fun new projects that I've been telling you guys for like a month now. June. June is when you get to know about everything. I'm sorry it's taking so long, but it's a really long process. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and so without further ado, let's get soap making. We will begin by adding our lye water solution to our oils, pouring it down the stick blender because that is supposed to help decrease air bubbles, though personally, I cannot testify that that is true. Could be a soaping myth as far as I'm concerned. And I'm gonna blend it up on high until the mixture comes to light trace, which is about 30 seconds or so. mixture has been blended up, I'm going to split it off into three equal parts into the soaping buckets I have here that I got from Dollar Tree for a dollar. This does not have to be perfect. I think I say that almost every single time when I'm splitting colors. Some people do like to make them really even. Um, when you're doing layers, that's really helpful. That way all your layers are exactly the same size, but I'm just kind of plip plopping it into the mold today, so no one's gonna know if there's a little more of one color than another. Got a scrapey scrapey, my big containing. And it is now time to add the colorant. So let me tell you what I'm going to do. For this middle one, I'm gonna be adding a little bit of Cosmetic Yellow Neon from Nurture Soap and a little bit of Aztec Gold from TKB Trading. This, I am hoping, is going to create a color kinda of similar to Belle's dress. For the second container here, I'm gonna be using Klein Blue Mica Powder, and this is supposed to represent the little overcoat that the beast is wearing during the dancing scene. And then I'm gonna be using this dark brown oxide from TKB to put in the third container to represent the both the beast's um, fur and also Belle's hair, because they're both brown and they're very, very similar in shade. All right, and now I'm gonna blend all these up on low, and we'll see what I think about the colors and uh, whether or not I need to add more of something. Wow, so before I even begin, this is obviously not the color of Belle's dress, but I think I might keep it anyway because if I remember correctly, this is kind of the color of the beast brass buttons that he has on his thing. So like the blue for his coat, maybe this will just be the beast <laughs> down here because like brown fur, blue coat, brass buttons. <laughs> This color is actually a little closer to Belle's dress than I first gave it credit for after looking at a picture. And it also is kind of the same color of the collar of the Beast's um, overcoat and everything. So that's a little closer than I originally thought, but I'm still gonna lighten it up a little bit with some titanium dioxide. And I'm gonna lighten up the brown a little bit as well because theirs is a little more nutty brown and not so chocolate. Awesome. So the brown is actually a lot lighter in person than it is appearing on camera, just so you know. 
know. So the fragrance I'm using today is Wild Rose from Brambleberry. This I think is kind of the perfect rose smell because it doesn't really smell like an old lady. It kind of smells like one that is like fresh picked off of the rose bush. And I picked the rose because of the enchanted rose in the story. The fragrance note on the bottle says that it does accelerate in cold process, so I'm not going to stick blend these, and I may only mix them one at a time. The fragrance oil has been blended into all three of the containers. After mixing up one by hand, I realized it didn't really accelerate in my batter very much, so I went ahead and mixed up the next two. And now we're going to pour all three into the Brambleberry molds. I want the colors to be very visible and very distinct, so I am going to do a very thick tiger stripe. Just kind of go down the middle and I'm pouring a lot more than you would normally do if you were doing a tiger stripe because normally you try to make those lines pretty thin. But I am letting a lot more out of the bucket. I'll probably end up doing about three or four passes total with my soap here. I kind of wanted a layered look without it being too extreme. That's why I'm doing it this way. These are getting pretty thick at this point so I'm going to tap them down and then I'm going to scrapey scrapey out my buckets and I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like once I have completed those tasks. For the piping today I'm going to be using uh, a Tico 869 which is one of my favorites by the way. I will leave you guys an Amazon link to that and I have colored the piping with <laughs> Creamy girl. Green Vibrance Mica from Nurture Soap. I am doing a rose themed top. So the inside is sort of like Belle and the Beast. Oh heavens. And then the top is going to be the Enchanted Rose. So fitting for the fragrance. I think that for that last video, not the last one, it was the one where I was annoying you, but also you were. Man, I just described like all of our videos. Um, <laughs> I managed one, to watch Whichever what? one that I went, kill, 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 kill. <laughs> you remember this? Yes. I think we should copy and paste that to other videos. Oh, you do, huh? You think we should copy and paste your joke to other yeah. videos? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> My joke is so funny. It should have more <laughs> than one spotlight. Mm -hmm. I'm now going on the next level and I'm covering up the tip from the first one. Just a little tiny dollop on this next one. I'm not mounding it up very high. Also, this green, as I often state, will not be this green tomorrow. It will be a lot more similar to like a lime green. After it goes through the saponification process, it changes a little bit and so it's a lot nicer to look upon at that stage. I I still get comments every single video for people, maybe this is their first time watching, who are like, that green is atrocious. <laughs> And I'm like, no, no, wait, there's more. So I feel like I have to put out a disclaimer every single video. I'm putting the last little dollop here in the middle and I'm trying to make it all kind of even across the top instead of having the last bit of piping be mounded up. Now that all of the soaps have piping on them, it's time to place the embed in. The embed I am using today is of course a blooming rose. I will have a link to the silicone mold I used to create it down in the description box below. We're going to place the rose right on the very top in the middle and the rose is also going to have some leaves that we're going to pipe on it which is another reason why I picked the piping tip that I did because I didn't want there to be a lot of holes in between there. Some of these roses I am spritzing with rubbing alcohol before I put them into the soap to kill any of the glycerin sweat beads that may be on top. And the rose mold that I purchased for the soap actually has multiple different rose sizes in there. So if you want to make a few different types, you can. For the leaves, I have placed some regular old soap piping in a plastic sandwich baggie with the 352 Atico tip. And all I'm going to do is hold the piping tip on the side, give the bag a little squeeze, and pull out just like so. Makes nice little rose leaves. This is a really easy addition to do to the top of your soaps to make them look really fabulous. I have turned the soap molds around so I have better access to the other side. 
And a quick thing to note as well is that my piping is still a little bit runny. And for roses, I like to keep it that way because rose leaves are actually sort of round. They're not really spiny looking. So having a bit of a thinner piping with this particular tip creates a more accurate rose leaf. And finally, I'm gonna spritz the entire loaf with rubbing alcohol, and I'm gonna add a little bit of biodegradable glitter on the top to represent, well, glitter. <laughs> I mean, the beast sparkles when he gets transformed, okay? And then I will bring you guys in for a close-up. And this is what the soaps look like on top up close and personal. I am mega digging it. I can't wait to cut these open. They already smell amazing. So we will be back in 18 to 24 hours to take a look at the inside after this quick commercial break. We are back to cut the Beauty and the Beast inspired soap that I think I'm going to call Enchanted Rose. And it smells so good and was really easy to take out of the mold. If I just remove it, this is what it looks like on the inside. That yellow golden color turned out absolutely perfect. And while typically I would say that these colors really don't go together like at all, if you understand the context in which the soap was created, Created. It makes sense. And here's the tiger stripe on the inside. So you see it's got that sort of layered look. And the thinner the soap is, the more of a dip there is in the middle. So there's not much of a dip here, just a very, very, very small one. But it smells great. Definitely a modern floral. The question of the day is a very important one. I want to know, do you guys like the new live action Beauty and the Beast more than the original animated version? I personally still like the animated version more. I, I don't know, maybe it's just my childhood nostalgia there. Also, that was the very first movie my parents ever went to see together at the movie theater. So. Beauty and the Beast is basically the reason I'm here. If you'd like to vote, you can click the I in the upper right hand corner of the screen. I have a feeling a lot of you people are still gonna like the classic one better. Also, here's a little close up of what the soap looks like on top. You can see my little glitter there and the rose and the little rose leaves. It's so cute. I cannot even. I've got to do more. I've just got to do more now. Oh, who should we do next? Let me know down in the comments below which Disney princess movie we should do next. If you see someone who has left the Disney princess movie that you are voting for, give that one a thumbs up. That way it gets up to the top and I can see which one you guys truly value the most. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as earlier stated, leave a comment down below. And if you're feeling really fun and fantastic, you can click the notification bell so the soap fairy alerts you every time I upload a new video. I hope you all have an absolutely royal day. Do something fun for yourself today. Go watch your favorite movie. Get in your sweatpants or no pants. Make yourself some popcorn and do a little something to chill out and enjoy yourself. You are worth it. And that's about all until next week, so I'll see you all soon. Bye! For now! <laughs> yeah.